Hey guys, it's General Heat here. How's everyone doing today? So, as you all might have heard over the past few years, there's always been rumors that Microsoft is going to make like some mini, you know, streaming only Xbox or like maybe like a Xbox for like mobile games or something like that. But it never happened. Meanwhile, on the other hand, their competitors, like Nintendo, made the NES Classic and the SNES Classic, both like miniature versions of you know those classic consoles that actually run you know emulated games from you know a selection of emulated games from that era, and those were like wildly popular. Everyone loved those. They were actually really cool, nifty devices too. But for Xbox, no portable handheld Xbox, no Xbox Classic mini streaming console or whatever, nothing. Because it never happened, I I didn't feel like waiting any longer, so I decided to make my own mini streaming Xbox, just like the NES Classic and PlayStation Classic, although those aren't streaming consoles, but this one will be. So let's put it together and make one right now. So it was actually quite simple to make a mini streaming Xbox, classic Xbox. Um, so it's got to have the capabilities to stream and play Series X games. So we needed to have a Series X capability. And of course, it'd be nice if it could also play 360 games as well through backwards compatibility on the cloud. So we're gonna put that in there too. Well, now that we have both consoles in there, we're gonna seal the bag so that none of that tech goodness leaks out. Good, good. Now I'm just gonna pick it up. It's a little heavy. And we're gonna shake it together. Make sure everything is mashed together. Okay. Yep, it smells like it's ready. So now let's see the results. So now I'm just gonna open it up. Ooh, yeah, this this one turned out pretty well. Uh, sometimes like there might be some manufacturing flaw with the mini console, but uh, I think I shook it up just right, and we now have our mini. Xbox, mini classic original Xbox. And here you have it. This is it. There you go. So, like I said, I didn't want to wait any longer, so I made my own. And this thing works pretty well. All right, so what do you say we fire it up now and see how it runs? All right, so this is the main menu of the mini Xbox. So primarily it is a streaming console, like I said. And so that's why we have the Game Pass Xbox Game Streaming app here, or just the Game Pass app. But we also have a few other streaming apps, like we have GeForce Now, Steam Link, uh, used to be Stadia, but ha, huh, good one. It's got a, almost like a tile kind of UI, like the older Xbox One UIs used to be like. So it's, uh, it's somewhat familiar. So you could could do Game Pass or you could do whatever streaming you want, but since this is an Xbox, we're going to do Game Pass for today. Alright, so we are now in the Game Pass app, and uh, just because we love Halo so much, let's try this out with Halo MCC. Uh, you know what, let's, let's jump into a campaign mission. Um, what's your favorite Halo game? Hmm. Don't say it. <laughs> Halo 4. Oh my god, you're fired. <laughs> you know what, we're gonna do Halo 3. Oh, you suck. <laughs> my favorite mission, The Covenant. So now in game, and it's still running off the uh, the mini Xbox, and I am using an Xbox One controller wirelessly as well. But this is all streaming, so let's just uh, let's just drive ahead a little bit. So yeah, this works very well as a streaming-only console. I mean, you know, you can always do it on 
with xCloud or Xbox game streaming, you can do it on any device you want technically. You can do it on your phone, your tablet, or your laptop or desktop PC. But it's obviously more fun as, you know, like a little mini Xbox. And, you know, that's... It's a huge shame that Microsoft never put anything out like that. I think it would've been like a huge hit. Just like a... Like a, some kind of mini Xbox streaming stick or, you know, something like modeled after the original Xbox. But like a miniature version like we had here. Uh, but, yeah, you know, I, I think it's a missed opportunity. I hope they do it eventually, and I hope the rumors are true. But, you know, it's, they've been going on for a very long time. Right. And now for the next game we're going to test, since this is, you know, modeled after an original Xbox, as you can see there, we're going to test on an actual original Xbox game, because that makes the most sense. A lot of games were enhanced, I believe, mm -hmm. when through this backwards compatibility program, so I imagine that applies to the streaming as well. Well, this only runs at 1080p, and I think xCloud streams are only at 1080p anyways, so even if they're enhanced to 4K, it doesn't matter. Why are these controls inverted? <laughs> are they were they like that by default back then? It, it it's it's old. Oh my god! Whoa. Mm -hmm. what, what what psycho thought inverted was fine for default? Hold on. Much better. <laughs> well, th this plays Morrowind pretty well. It's uh, yeah. We are actually playing an original Xbox game through the cloud on a mini original Xbox, <laughs> so to speak. Have you played Morrowind before? Uh, it's been years since I played it, and it was on the uh, PC. Uh, yeah, I never played it before at all. I, I only I started from Skyrim. <laughs> I, I believe that was also my first as well, Skyrim. Well, that's pretty like memories. Yeah, that's pretty nice, actually. <laughs> it's really convenient because if Microsoft officially comes out with something like this, you can take it anywhere you want. Yeah, just exactly. plug it in. It's so portable, it's so mini. Um, it's not a handheld console, but you know, you use your phone for that. But you know, now you can have something just like the NES Classic or the Sony, the PlayStation Classic. Yeah, I mean, this, this works pretty well, it's pretty responsive and everything. This, this is what Microsoft should have done. They should have done like a mini Xbox, mini original Xbox, be it streaming or some other thing like that, but they, they should have done that. Take note, Microsoft, please. <laughs> All right, so as you can see, my little mini portable streaming Xbox prototype, uh, it works pretty well. It runs xCloud pretty decently and you know, this is like a dream come true. This Nintendo, Sony, and pretty much like every console manufacturer in the past has done some kind of like throwback mini console, except for Microsoft. And, you know, of all the companies with the most resources, Microsoft should have done it, but they didn't. All right, so for those of you who are wondering exactly what's powering this Xbox mini console, the inside is an Asus Tankerboard S running Android with a custom launcher. It's like a Raspberry Pi, except it's powered by a Rockchip RK3288 SoC with a 1.8 GHz quad-core CPU and a 600 MHz Mali T760 MP4 GPU. It also has 2 GB of RAM on board and 16 GB of onboard storage. Unfortunately, this board only has 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi, which is only okay-ish for xCloud streaming. It's not ideal. There are many newer and more powerful Raspberry Pi alternative boards out there, and I have tested out quite a few, such as the Rock Pi 4, Nano Pi boards, and even the Raspberry Pi boards themselves. But each board had different kinds of issues that ended up with a less than optimal experience. So I ended up going with the Asus ThinkBoard S. As for the outer case itself, it's actually just the standard official Raspberry Pi 3 case with original Xbox stickers applied to it. There was a seller on eBay selling the case and decals, but I don't know if it's still available anymore. The total cost 
for this build was under $100, which would be very reasonable as an actual consumer product. Yeah, so that about wraps it up for this video. Uh, like I said, Microsoft, I don't know why they haven't done like a streaming mini Xbox yet. It, it makes like so much sense, like, especially with what, what they've been going for the Series S. Like it's the Series S, it, it, that's like almost like a proof of concept. It, it shows that like there's like possible demand for something like this. So I really hope Microsoft does something official like this eventually in the future. But until then, I've got my own to enjoy. Uh, yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and found it to be interesting. And uh, if you did, make sure to leave a like. If you have any questions or comments or want to know more about this too, actually, I'd be willing to, I'd be happy to discuss more about it. Just let me know in the comments down below. But aside from that, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you on the next video. Bye, guys.